climb the walls to climb your SR. Hello, hello, people of YouTube and Twitch in the chat on the screen. We have another VOD review to do, courtesy of 30 Frames, aka McDonald Hanzo right now. So he redeemed his VOD review with the channel points I have on twitch.tv slash scenario. So if you want your free VOD review, come hang out. Yeah, so I like the Sonic Air up top. Usually I would aim, I would aim for like right here. So if you see people jumping down here, you would hit them too. So that's what I would do. Instead of like all the way up here. Because you have like an AoE for Sonic, it's like a circle. So aim like a little bit below the window. Give you a better opportunity to find anyone. See through the dragon's eyes. Okay, that's like, okay. Attackers incoming. Four hours doing choke damage. We're playing relatively safe behind the shield, so that's good. So honestly, you can play on the high ground if you wanted to. Like, even if you want to do, you can get... You could, like, stand. You could stand up here and poke. Like, the fact that... Well, they have a McCree, so you gotta watch out for him, but the fact that they don't have a sniper, you can be able to get some high ground. Like, if you want, you could always play over here and poke some damage once they start pushing. Like, if you think they're pushing, if you think the Ryan's pushing, then this will be, like, your second spot to get up here. But I also believe you can stand on the statue, too. Like, you can just sit up here if you want, if you want to be cheeky. But since Soldier has this point right here, I wouldn't be here because Soldier's here. So as like distance DPS, you always want to take different angles because it's kind of weird if you're both here at the same place shooting. Yeah, I mean that's if you want to. Like it's o it's always an option. You can just chill right here. And also sometimes when I play Hanzo. I would try, I would like climb and then shoot, like depending on where they are, like if you want you could start wall climbing up here and then I'm not sure if you're able to shoot through this, you probably aren't able to shoot through this, so if that's the case then you would just climb up here, climb up here, shoot, fall down, climb up again, shoot, fall down, I do that a lot too. I like to just climb stuff, shoot, fall down, climb up again. It just throws the enemy team off. It's like a, using Hanzo's skills as like pack it to the, to the biggest advantage you can get. Don't get your F2 in here, remember that, F2. Yeah, storm arrows are good to break down. So in this case, storm arrows will be good to shoot down Ryan shield or to burst down Hog because you can get a bunch of old charge from him. So that would be good as well. So right now, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if you see the hot the Kree up there, but I will start poking him down as well because right now he doesn't see you. He's not shooting at you. So if you can poke him instead. And if you see Junkrat shooting over here, I don't know if you see him. But if you see his projectiles, you gotta be mindful of him right here. So maybe if you wanna like go into the left room to try to like come behind him and stuff. Hi, Snood. It's also good sometimes to save your storm arrow if the aunt, if the Anna sleeps the Rhine, because once he's sleeping and stuff, you can just burst him down 
without him because it takes him oh, oh like a hot second for him to put his shield back up <laughs> yeah so that one i would just you knew he was in that room so you would peel further away because he knows he can like roll flashbang you so it's just about keeping your distance from the kree Yeah, and also here, you can do that wall climbing thing as well. Like, Kree is shooting over here. You can always throw him off, like, climb up, shoot him down, climb back down, or like, climb up here, or just climb up to this window and get away from him. That's like the one, that's like the advantage Hanzo has, well, what the heck. Wah. Look like he's seen a ghost. God damn. <laughs> he's seen a ghost. <laughs> oh yeah. The Kree just got too close to you, so just being distant from that, so. Yep. Yep, yep. Locked by the dragon. I'm not sure. I'm not sure where you put that Sonic. It like went through the window. Maybe if it touched the wall, that would have been helpful. Yeah, for that, you could have just killed him with a single headshot. I think if you... Storm arrows, you might whiff a lot. That's what I've noticed when I play Hanzo. So I always try to just go for the headshot when he's ulting like that. Because usually they're just standing still when they're when Kree's ulting like that. landed that sonic arrow and that doorway you would not have died to that because you would see him there like you would either go around to get him or climb up and try to get him was already like trying to shatter he didn't have time to touch after the shatter but honestly the lucio could have touched or the soldier maybe if he was nearby yeah i wouldn't worry about immortality field because no one's going to be there so it's not near you guys So, Tyre, it's really good to figure out where Tyre is. And, like, for me, I can hear it with the sound cues and stuff. So, once you think Tyre is near you, I would always get Storm Arrow up and you can burst it down. What you did there, that's good. With the Ana. No, no, Ana. Okay, so here you just want to be mindful of flanks. So for me, I like to put Sonics on the flanks. So like over here where the Zarya is. Well, technically I guess you don't have to Sonic there because Zarya is there. But if there were no one, if there was no one there, Ana F the check. <laughs> Got 
Why did he sacrifice himself like that? Wow, he fell all the way to the bottom. To the pit. To the pit. Damn. I didn't know you could drop this far. Interesting. We learned something new. I'm sorry. This could be a good Uno map. Because it's just this flat space. I'm surprised they don't have this as an Uno map. Oh well. Mercy on call. Healing it up. <gasps> Yeah, that, that Ryan could have, like, turned left or right and avoid falling. I am not deterred. That's whatever. I guess you you wanted that kill, I guess. I'm under attack. Yeah. I see you now. Junk's up there. So yeah, this climb shoot. Fire at will. <laughs> Oh no! Yeah, that I think I think we just got too aggressive. Up oh, back to the pit. Back to the pit. I must reclaim my Back to where you belong. <laughs> yeah, you, you got too aggressive with there. You didn't even see the hog there, so I think that was just a uh, poor positioning. Probably could have saved your storm arrows for the tire burst. But luckily, it didn't get you. That's a that's a good strat. The um, dragon in front of a window. Do you know everyone's gonna like try to shoot through the window? So there's a good chance you could get someone with dragon. Regular arrow would have been fine. <laughs> so again, just take the high ground. But if you even want to, you can go into like this window up here, like top right, and poke down, or put a Sonic there. Or I guess you wouldn't have to put a song there because there's no climbing unless there are baps there, which would be kind of weird. Take the high ground so you don't get pinned to the pit. That's fine. Okay, dragon for me I would probably like elongate it so have because you had the dragon like right here but you know there's like people pushing the cart like a little bit behind so I probably would have aimed dragon like this way you can like see my cursor yeah it's like a cut off thing yeah, that's that's a good shot too. That, I was about to say that. I'm on fire. Yeah, but I'm not sure because the Ryan blocked the shatter. Unless you're thinking the teammates would be aggressive, thinking that the enemy Ryan landed that shatter. So, I'm not 
not sure if you know, but if you if you shoot a fully charged arrow and then press storm arrows, you have like a little bit more DPS. So that's helpful if you're trying to burst down shield or burst down like a roadhog and trying to get um, ult charge with that. So it's as soon as you let go of your full charge shot, you press E and then shoot those arrows for more DPS for Hanzo. Starts us in the pit because you're going to spawn in the pit. <laughs> Ready for battle. A moment to enjoy some peace and quiet. Yeah. I mean, being Hanzo, you have no excuse because you have free climb. Like Genji. Yeah, free climb. So, no excuse to not miss that opportunity. I think the one is necessary. With every death comes honor. With honor. Redemption. That doesn't make sense because, like, when you're looking down, you see more of their head hitbox, though. Three, one, two, one. Defend objective A. So here. So here again, just take high ground. You can like, if you're not gonna start at that top um, spawn spot, like at the window, you can always take the bus or go up here, like where this tree is, to get a big, better angle. Yeah, I, I like I liked how you climbed the May wall to see if you're able to help the Rhine right now. You're on the high ground. You're on a bus. There we go. Climbing places. <laughs> See? You can't climb your SR if you don't climb. In actuality. <laughs> What are we gonna do with Sim? I wonder. Teleporter online. For me, I like to throw my turrets on the floor and then put my TP up so my turrets come with me. Also, Sim, like Reaper, is really good with Rhine because you just shoot and beam behind the Rhine shield. So you just Rhine's Gatling guns or whatever. <laughs> Oh, 
Yeah, so a good strat, like, so you use your TP once to get over to the side and bring your team over. So after everyone's over, I would break TP and just have it because you could always TP yourself out of mail. Just out of harm's way. So that's like also like a little cheeky strategy that they're not going to expect should you decide to do that. I guess that's, that was like a panic hole. They're already down. That was like a like a please pop off because everyone else is dead type ult. Even though it's like one v six. shield up but we're not using really using it but I guess we're like okay we're just in the we're just in everyone's side though so it's kinda of weird. Double kill. Double kill. Let's So what rank is this? I'm gonna ask. Thank you, my friend. We must see the payload to its destination. Teleporter online. I have opened the bar. Yeah, I don't know why we put it. I don't know why we put a TP in front of the payload. The payload is just gonna destroy it. But okay, smile. Get me. TP, you could you could just TP like up here and this TP the high ground. If you're not gonna use TP to get to the back line of the enemies, like straight through, then either put it some people put it from spawn for faster regroups or put it to the high ground. So But again you're just letting the payload kill your TP. <laughs> Smile. <laughs> My work is not complete. Oh, we were gonna TP up there, I guess we're not. Oh, My there we go. Is online. <laughs> Move the payload. <laughs> you fell. Haha, <laughs> kicked up you. Join me. I'm not sure if I would ult there because you lost your supports. If you had it earlier when the Zarya grabbed, that would have been good. But other than that, I would have saved it and I tried to like combine it with an ult. So Soldier has his ult. You could ult him and he can like visor behind it. Teleporter online. I have Oh good, we didn't put the TP in front of the payload. So it's still alive. You know, also, if you put TP behind you, and if there's someone flanking a lot, like the Kree, sometimes, sometimes, the whoever's flanking will try to shoot the TP, so when you get, like, the destroy notification, you'll be like, oh, there's someone behind us. We must see the payload to its destination. My teleporter is online. 
Again in front of the Phalo, what the heck, man? I'm nudging you. Yeah, also, if you notice your turrets are getting destroyed a lot, for me, like if you're pushing payload, I would just put the turrets on the back of the payload. Or to the side near the back towards the payload. Yeah, because when you're um, playing attack payload, it's it's like a weird situation to like where you want to put your turrets because you're always moving a lot. So I mean, you might as well just put it on the thing that's moving with you. My teleporter is online. I like how they're all taking the TP. <laughs> okay, so they have Torb, so you can use your right click charge to burst down the turret. So if you see the if you see the turret if you're able to kill it, just do your um right click charge sim shots at the turret to quickly burst it out. Yeah. Also, like I've seen like some sim players. They use TP aggressively, so you would put... So like for this, you would put like probably T... So you would put your turrets on the wall right here, like relatively low. And then you would put your TP here around the corner and like stick it and like aim for back here. So your turrets will come with you and then you'll burst whoever's here and then quickly TP back. So. This is what the aggressive sim players do. It's really interesting to watch because they just destroy everything. It's very interesting. The heroes never die. the walls to climb your SR and there that's how you become grandmaster or masters or whatever so and if you're watching this on YouTube come hang out twitch.tv slash central get your channel points get your free VOD review and I have a playlist of VOD reviews and whatnot